ruthlessly edited from a fuller version so it fits on YouTube. This does cover the complete work carried out on this windmill shaped chicken hut. It does cover right from the very beginning making the E-wads as can be seen now to making your own screw fixes, how to fasten them onto the roof and the various stages working up the roof. As I am a thatcher I have tried to show the more important parts rather than concentrate on the video because I'm not very good at making videos but I just hope it gives a flavour of the whole procedure. The use of the tools which are all handmade anyway is not very important, it's not terribly technical, they're quite easily made by themselves but the techniques that I used are hundreds if not thousands of years old the only difference is the plywood substrate and stainless steel fixings rather than using spring but the way they work is exactly the same as they used to be thousands of years ago the round structure is one of the easiest but the setting out of the eave is the most important of the lot other materials can be used I'm using straw here combed wheat reed a long straw put through a reed coma which straightens it all out basically just removing the hard back breaking work of doing it by hand the tension of the roof is absolutely vitally important you can get it too tight if it is too tight it sucks water into it rather than disperse it it must be fairly open to allow the wind to blow through it and to dry it out huts like this used to be used by the Bronze Age people in Britain, Iron Age people and still are used in lots of places in Africa. It's a, a thing that you feel rather than can be taught to do properly. It is a difficult thing to explain exactly how to do it, you really have to see it. And the simplest movements are difficult to explain I find them absolutely vital, I know they're absolutely vital, but it's difficult to get across why and how. When the e, the ridge is starting to be put on, there is a metal ring, which is just a, a roll of wire. It just helps hold everything securely in place, so I could get an idea of how it looks. You're up and down the ladder all the time, checking that it's not out of shape. There's no real way of measuring it, everything has to be done by eye. When you start taking a tape measure out and trying to measure things, it just never seems to work. It is purely by feel. The first bundle has been put on now, which is forming the ridge. The main roof has been completed. The roll of wires on it now just to hold everything in the position. The odd measurements are taken, but uh, it's not very often. You have to do it by eye. The Eve it ridge itself is held on by hazel spars and swathes. It's just split lengths of hazel cut into a staple to fasten the pattern pieces onto position. Again this is a very British thing. There's not many countries in the world have got this type of ridge. In fact I know of none. It's definitely an English thing and probably not very old. We're talking of hundreds of years rather than thousands of years, but it does cope with our peculiar wet and windy weather. The legget being used is used for several things, comb wheat reed, etc. and north reed. Well, I hope you found this video informative and I hope to improve on it later on and produce a full size commercial type video of the procedure.